Hey, welcome back to the shop. My name is Michael. We are working on a DIY CNC router known as the Print and C project. Today we're talking about some quick but important things you need to do before you start drilling and tapping your frame. All right, let's get into it. Now, in case you missed one of the previous videos, we talked about measuring the profile of the steel, including the thickness, the height, the width, the radius, all of that, and ensuring that it's the right profile before you start printing all of the assembly parts. But before that, we need to drill and tap the frame. Now, what we're doing here is we're ensuring that each part is the proper length and that the ends are squared off. And then what I'm going to do is mark each piece so that I hopefully don't get mixed up as I drill and tap them. For my build, this is the standard size layout. Each of these X-axis frame members need to be 51 and 3 16 inch long. And I love the metric system. So you'll see a mixture of metric and imperial as I go through this build. And it looks like all three of these are really close. Those are the x-axis pieces. Now we'll measure the y-axis and these need to be 35 and 7 16 inch long and they're really close. So all we need to do is just square up the ends and then we'll make sure we mark them so we don't get them mixed up throughout the process. I found out it works better to square the ends of the tubes off on the belt sander using an 80 grit belt rather than the angle grinder because I was able to get a nice square edge on all the pieces. It's important when you're doing this kind of sanding with metal and you get all these fine metal shavings that you wear a proper respirator that actually seals around your face so that you're not breathing that stuff in. So now that that's done, what I'm going to do is identify each piece and mark them so that I don't lose track or drill the wrong holes in the wrong pieces. Right here is gaff tape. It's used in the film and photo industry and it's, it doesn't leave any residue. It's super tough and you can write on it obviously. So that's what I'm gonna do now. These are the left and right Y axis frame members. So because my gantry is two by four steel, it's obvious which piece this is, so I'm not going to mark it. Okay, with these, what I'm going to do is make sure that the weld that you see here is facing down because it does create a little bit of a, a hump and I don't want that, especially when I'm gonna put my wasteboard down here, I want it perfectly flat. So all the welds are down, I'm gonna mark these. Since this is the X axis, I'm gonna mark this one, two, three, one being closest and three being farthest away. So if this is one, two, and three, you wanna make sure your longest pieces are on the very outside of the frame. So my pieces are really close, but I'm going to choose the two longest pieces that go on the outside. This stuff is really amazing. I'll put a link to it in the description. I forgot to mention those of you who have recently subscribed, welcome and thank you. 
This is an exciting project. We've got all of these marked, ready to go for some drilling and tapping, which we'll do in the next one. There is a playlist on everything I'm doing here and you can see the progress there. So we'll see you in the next one.